Doctor, you've talked about the pharmaceutical version of omega-3. How does that differ from what we can get as a supplement you know, over yeah. the counter? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, the, the product that's a pharmaceutical is about 85% omega-3. So uh, it's a one gram, 1,000 milligram capsule. 850 milligrams are EPA and DHA. Those are the two mm -hmm. omega-3s. And they're roughly in a one-to-one -one balance. So that's the pharmaceutical product. You can get over-the-counter uh, dietary supplements that have that roughly that same strength uh, as well nowadays. Uh, typically, the pills are bigger. It's not a 1,000 milligram. It may be a 1,200 or 1,300 milligram pill. So if you thought the regular fish oil pills were big, these are big pills. Uh, but to get that much omega-3 into one pill, uh, they can, sometimes they have to make them bigger. But you can get the equivalent of what you buy from the, the, the pharmacy um, in the health food store uh, by picking the right product and just looking for how much omega-3 EPA and DHA there is per capsule. And not per serving, because sometimes mm -hmm. they'll say a serving is two capsules or three capsules. And it gets mm -hmm. a little, it's a game they play. Because uh, on the label, they've got to say how much omega-3 per serving. But then you have to look at how many capsules that is. Mm -hmm. um, but there are products available that, uh, the, the typical fish oil, this, the cheap one, Sam's Club, Costco, Walgreens, uh, buy 1,000, get another 1,000 free, that kind of thing. Th those have about 300 milligrams, so about one-third the potency okay. of the pharmaceutical product. So theoretically, you take three of those for every one of the pharmaceutical ones and have the same benefit. Trouble is you'd be taking, the, the, the pharmaceutical product has an indication, every drug has an indication, and the indication is not for reducing risk for heart disease, it's for lowering blood triglyceride levels, which is one of the, there's cholesterol and there's triglycerides mm -hmm. in the blood, two, two risk factors. Uh, and the fish oils are very good, and not, they don't lower cholesterol, but they do lower the triglyceride levels if you take enough omega-3. The dose for lowering triglycerides for omega-3, which is the pharmaceutical indication, is about three to four grams a day. And in order to get that, you, the prescription product would be you take four capsules a day. Uh, and, and there, again, are some over-the-counter products that have as much omega-3 as that, and you could take the same amount. Uh, most people don't need that much. That is, again, for a very narrow range of lowering triglycerides. Very 3% of the population needs to do that about 100% of the population needs about one gram a day, in my opinion. Maybe half a gram to one gram a day is where the, the, the American people ought to be eating omega-3. Japanese intake is around one gram a day. Um, interestingly, the Spanish in Spain take about one gram a day. They have the lowest rate of heart disease in, in Europe. Uh, and so there's, a, <clears throat> there's that target intake of about a gram a day, and you can get that variety way. There's some intermediate omega-3 supplement products that have maybe 500 milligrams per capsule, uh, up to 700 milligrams per capsule. Those are, uh, they're a little more spendy because they're more concentrated. It's more at work to mm -hmm. do that. Uh, but you can take uh, you know, one or two of those a day and get plenty of the omega-3. Uh, definitely meet your needs for omega-3. Um, if you want to take the cheaper products, you have to take more pills. Um, and you know, one of the other benefits of the higher omega-3 product, the more concentrated products, is they're less likely to cause a burp. And that's, I mean, obviously it's not life-threatening. I mean, we wouldn't call that a side effect. We would call that an annoyance um, because there's, it's not like your liver is getting killed, uh, which, which is a real problem for some drugs. But omega-3s, there really aren't any downsides mm -hmm. to the omega-3s.